Joel Embiid was simply unstoppable. Embiid scored a career-high 50 points to lead the Philadelphia 76ers to a 112-105 victory over the Chicago Bulls on Friday night. Embiid added 17 rebounds, 5 assists, 4 blocks and 2 steals in a dominating performance at both ends of the court. Philadelphia 76ers complete coverage of the Philadelphia 76ers and their rivals in the NBA from NBC Sports Philadelphia. The only difference from this year and last year is about me being willing to dominate every single moment I'm on the floor on defense and on offense, Embiid said. Tobias Harris had 22 points and 12 rebounds for the Eastern Conference leading 76ers, who played without Ben Simmons' illness for the second straight game and clinched coaching duties for Doc Rivers at the All-Star Game. Having Embiid, of course, has helped. It's good to have him on our side, I'll tell you that, Rivers said. Zach Levine scored 30 points for the Bulls. With the 76ers clinging to a 107-103 lead, Embiid blocked Levine's driving attempt with 102 remaining, then hit a 17-foot baseline jumper with 41 seconds left. When the Bulls called timeout, Embiid jogged to center court and put both hands up as if requesting cheers from the empty seats while the speakers played artificial MVP. MVP. Chance. I play for the fans, and I play for the city, Embiid said. I always feel like they're here with us even though they're not. The Bulls did fine when Embiid wasn't in the game. With Embiid on the bench at the start of the fourth, the Bulls used a 10-2 run over the first three and a half minutes to take an 89-87 lead after Ryan Archidiakono stole an inbounds pass and converted a three-point play. Then Embiid returned and scored six points during a 7-0 spurt that made it 94-89. After hitting a 16-footer, he grabbed an offensive rebound and made both free throws after getting fouled and then pulled down another offensive board and scored on a follow on the next possession. It really just feels like he's unstoppable, Philadelphia's Matisse Thibel said. You start to think that maybe there's no answer for him. It was still a game, though, as Levine and the Bulls were playing tough until Embiid clinched it with his defensive and offensive prowess. Overall I thought the guys really competed, battled and hung in there, Bulls coach Billy Donovan said. Voted an all-star for the fourth consecutive season on Thursday, Embiid scored 25 first-half points in a variety of ways, seemingly however he wanted. I've been adding a lot to my game and it's been working well, he said. Embiid put an exclamation point on the half with 33 seconds remaining before the break by dribbling from Philadelphia's free throw line, deking past Wendell Carter Jr. in the Bulls paint, scoring and getting fouled, an amazing show of athleticism from the 7'2 big man.